ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Manuel Graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial, we'll be making low poly cubic mountains. Now this tutorial is inspired by uh, the isometric obsessions tutorial on low poly rocks. So I've adapted this style uh, to for Blender, or a similar style is inspired um, for Blender instead of Cinema 4D. So that's what they uh, use to teach over there. So we'll just be learning how to create this awesome low poly uh, rock slash mountains effect so let's get started let me just show you a quick preview so something like that you can obviously that is shot really badly and um, not very good lighting and stuff but that's basically how we're gonna go about making this so we're gonna go file new reload the startup file I'm just going to delete everything I don't need. I'm going to add a plane. And on this plane, I'm going to subdivide it around that size. I'm then going to hit A to deselect everything and then hit C. Oh, sorry, then. Uh, Uh, control tab, oh wait, yeah, control tab, select face mode, and this can only be done in edit mode. And then I'm going to hit C on my keyboard and I'm just going to select uh, a shape. Something like that. And then I'm just going to hit E to extrude. And I'm going to um, pull it in like that. That's pretty good. We're then going to um, grab our brush tool, which is C again, and hold Shift to deselect and deselect some points. We're then going to hit E to extrude again. And again, the same technique, we're going to hit C, which is the brush, and deselect some points by holding shift. And this uh, creates the structure of our cubic mountain. And you can extrude, uh, you can scale in and out as you please. You can also leave some bits bare so you can cut off the rock, like so through this bit and then uh, you can select some more points and this is how depending on how high you want your mountain to be so I'll have mine around that. That's a good shape. The next bit I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit mode and select all the faces surrounding the mountain. Like so. And I'm just going to delete these faces. So we've got this cube shape here. And this enables us to select faces without the rest of the plane interrupting. So that's why I deleted the remaining sections of the plane. So you're wondering how else are we going to do this nice and easy to create detail. Um, well, Blender actually has a really interesting, uh, like not plug-in, but built-in, I, um, element that can help us select faces randomly. So we're just going to hit the space bar and that brings up our select. This is probably your best friend in Blender. We're going to type in select random and it will select random faces. Select random faces for us. 
and we can lower the percentage or increase the percentage I'm gonna have a low percentage like that 26% is fine and I'm gonna hit extrude individual I'm just going to extrude like so this is adding some nice details to our image I'm going to hit select random again and we'll select the same ones but we're going to increase and decrease the values and like so we're then going to scale that bit down oh, wait sorry we are going to do that step again mess it up a bit extrude individuals and we don't want this too extreme so and you can scale these that was a bit too extreme I don't want it too. and that adds lots of little um, cubic detail that we can use I'm then going to select all of my faces here and add a modifier the decimate modifier and I'm going to just decimate the image to give us some more interesting and you can get rid of horrible peaks like this when you wanted a a flat area now in his tutorial he added a subdivision surface but in blender that actually looks reasonably nice it looks quite strange it looks like a, a blob where we want something cubic like that could look reasonable that actually looks quite well so you can add a subdivision surface as you please but I'm happy with this cube looking shape here so that's uh, basically how to create low poly cubic mountains within blender you can go check out his tutorial for some extra tips you can just um, adapt it for blender but um, that's all I've got to show you but the basic technique is shown in this video and I think it can be made into a really cool effect. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I shall catch you in my next video.